Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on February 8, 2023. Ukraine war, Putin is playing for time and plans to bomb his way to negotiating table, European spy agency warns. Sky News, Putin is playing for time on Ukraine, Estonian spy agency says. Bloomberg, Russian threat to Baltic security rising, Estonian intelligence report. The print, Russian threat to Baltic security rising Estonian intelligence report. Anti-aging scientists extend lifespan of oldest living lab rat. George Santos, latest, Mitt Romney and congressman get into testy exchange at State of the Union. The Independent, Santos, Romney exchange words ahead of Biden address. Washington Post, at the State of the Union, Republicans showed who they really are, and it wasn't pretty. The Independent, Republicans revealed their true selves at State of Union, and it ain't pretty. MP should get medals and bigger payoffs, says report. The Independent, medals for MPs among ideas to attract fresh talent to Parliament. BBC, MPs should be awarded medals when they stand down or are voted out of office, committee suggests. Sky News, should ex-MPs get a medal for their service? The Spectator, make it easier for MPs to claim redundancy cash after losing seat, committee. Kim Jong-un makes rare appearance with daughter at military banquet. Sky News, pictured, Kim Jong-un's daughter dines with military chiefs. The Telegraph, Kim Jong-un's daughter Ju Air appears for North Korean military parade. The Times, Kim Jong-un gives strongest hint yet about his successor at key military event. The Independent, N Korea Army to mark 75 years since founding with military parade. Raheem Taylor, man executed for killing girlfriend and three children despite claiming innocence. Sky News, attorneys, advocates seek stay of execution for Missouri man. The Independent, man executed for killing girlfriend and three children despite innocence claims. Belfast Telegraph, civil rights group seek halt to Missouri execution. Tyre Nichols, Memphis police officer shared pictures after beating. Sky News, Tyre Nichols, policeman took and shared photos of injured man. BBC, officer shared pictures of Tyre Nichol after brutal beating, documents show. ITV News, Memphis police officer texted photo of Tyre Nichols to at least five people after he beat him, records show. State of the Union 2023, five takeaways from Biden's speech. BBC, Joe Biden urges Congress to finish economic fight back in State of the Union address, BBC News. BBC News, Biden's State of the Union unofficially kicked off his re-election campaign. The Guardian, why this year's State of the Union address will be so different. China rages over Biden's SOTU as US briefs 40 nations on spy balloon, live. The Independent, US sources insist Chinese balloon was military. BBC, Trump-era Chinese spy balloons went undetected. BBC, the spy balloon saga says far more about Biden's political weakness than China's strength. The Guardian, China's spy balloon, a new Cold War unfolds before our eyes. MH17, Putin likely to have supplied missile that downed plane, investigators. BBC, MH17, Strong indications, Putin signed off on supplying missile that hit plane. The Guardian, strong indications Vladimir Putin approved missile that downed Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 prosecutors. Evening Standard, MH17, strong signs Vladimir Putin to blame for supplying missile that shot down passenger plane. Sky News, Vladimir Putin supplied missile used to down flight MH17, investigators say, BBC News. Turkey and Syria earthquake, Erdogan defends response as death toll nears 12,000 latest updates. The Guardian, Turkey-Syria earthquake death toll rises to more than 11,000 BBC News. BBC News, VIP lounge becomes quake refuge in stricken Turkish city. Al Monitor, opinion, lessons from past earthquakes for Turkey today. The Washington Post, Erdogan has undermined Turkey's quake response. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.